Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure collection video. Today, we're going to be looking at episode 21 of D Hunter's complete unopened Batman action figure collection. This episode is going to contain Mattel's animated The Batman EXP Extreme Power Line. This is a continuation of their The Batman line. Now my collection is not complete. I'm missing a total of six individual figures couple four packs and two packs. In this video we'll take a look at each of the figures wave by wave. We'll look at what I have unopened and what I have opened from this line. If you want to see how extensive my unopened Batman Action Figure Collection is, check out episode one, the overview. There will be a link in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's see how we got to this point. Before we dig into this video, let's take a quick look at my overall action figure collection. Here's when I had everything laid out in the house. So I think I've finally done it. I've unpacked all of the figures. As you can see here, we have the Diamond Select Toys Gotham Collection. Here's a bunch of my Mezco unopened figures. Some more Mattel stuff. Here's the Legends of the Dark Knight line. This is the Batman Power Attack line, sort of Batman Unlimited. All my Justice League, Justice League Unlimited stuff. This is the entire DC Direct and DC Collectibles Arkham Collection. Mattel's 1966 line. DC Superhero Girls. All the different NECA Batman figures. Some Target exclusive line. All the amazing Yamaguchi figures back there, some Spin Master stuff, the Mattel Batman Missions line. Of course, in the very back, it's my entire comic collection with all the recent McFarlane releases in front. And above that, got a bunch of DC Direct and Mattel figures in the last several years. Moving on. Pretty much the entire Mattel's The Batman line. Back here in the back, got my SH Figure Arts Batman figures. This side, we've got all the different Mattel. Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, Batman Begins figures. Massive amount of piles. Back here we've got the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series figures, and a lot of them are on top as well. Can't wait to get to that video. That one and the Arkham Collection and DC Universe Classics. Some videos I'm really excited to do. Here are the Mattel figures. I can see the Batman Legacy, Batman Unlimited. It goes all the way from the original Batman line. Here's the Batmobile. And it's going to go all the way to DC Superheroes. DC Universe Classics, and Multiverse. A ton of figures. Great era with Mattel. Fun stuff, but I do like what McFarlane's doing. But I do miss these days, that's for sure. Going back to Kenner and Hasbro. Ton of Batman Beyond. Batman the Animated Series stuff. I mean, that just seemed endless to go through. My word. Look at these piles of unopened figures. That may made series continues all the way back here. Absolute ton of stuff just stacked up. On top of this table here, got all the Mafex figures and a bunch of one-offs. Some Hasbro, some McFarlane, or Mattel rather, anniversary figures. Amazing Amaguchi, Kia Asima, all kind of different import type stuff. Then we've got JLA and Total Justice figures. And then on to all the rest of the DC Direct stuff. Bunch of DC Direct Batman related figures. Some more chill in the back here. And I filled up all these shelves temporarily. Just storing all these DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And it's almost done. Here's the Mattel Batman Brave and the Bold line. I did not realize how extensive that got. And a ton more Brave and the Bold down here. Moving on again. Some old Toy Biz. Super Friends. 
and DC superhero figures leading into the Dark Knight collection then we'll go to the Batman Returns figures and then of course Batman Forever Batman and Robin it's a bunch of different bat caves and some more animated stuff in the back there so here are the figures I have from the first series of Mattel's The Batman EXP Extreme Power. We've got Night Strike Batman, Night Shadow Batman, Midnight Ninja Batman, Batarang Crusader Batman, Batgirl, Crazy Cut Up the Joker, the Riddler, and Clayface. I'm missing one figure from this wave, and that's Criminal Capture Batman. Let's go ahead and take a look at them half at a time. So here's the first half of Wave 1. These are all the Bat variants I have. The packaging is considerably different than Mattel's The Batman Wave. The packaging is a lot different from your traditional action figure packaging. Let's take a look at it. As you can see the top, The Batman, ages 4 plus, EXP, extreme power. Comes with a sort of power key that will unlock some sort of action features on some of the accessories or vehicles or play sets. Night Strike Batman. Comes with sort of a grapple launcher type thing, oversized as usual. The back side, the Batman. You can see how his accessory and action feature work, and a bunch of other figures from the wave. Then we have Night Shadow Batman, Night Strike Batman, Night Shadow Batman. A lot of similarities. Coloring is not too bad, in sort of a blue black outfit. The previous one, he was in the traditional colors from the TV show. He comes with this giant accessory, some sort of capture claw type thing. Backside, you can see him using the accessory with the power key. And yes, you can capture the villains. Odd, they put this little sticker covering up one of the figures here. You can see years ago I tried to peel it off, wasn't very successful. Always found that very, very odd. Now, the checklist is different from the other Batman figure, so I'm not sure what figure is covered up there. This is Midnight Ninja Batman in sort of a black ninja outfit. This large accessory, I cannot tell you what it is, but here he is holding this thing. Backside, you can see the accessory in action. And a bunch of other figures, still with that same figure covered up. And here's Batarang Crusader Batman. He's in more ridiculous coloring. Green, blue, and black suit. That same sort of grapnel accessory. Backside, you can see how the zipline thing works. And a bunch of other figures. And of these Bat variants... I have the standard gray and black Batman loose. And here's the second half of series one. To start off with the sidekick, this is Batgirl. And the show did things in a different order. They introduced Batgirl before they introduced Robin. EXP, extreme power. Batgirl with this crazy accessory. Looks like that capture claw thing again. She's pretty small, pretty petite. Purple outfit. Backside, they're showing Batman using this capture claw, pretty lazy to just reuse Batman on the back of the packaging of Batgirl and a bunch of other figures. This is crazy cut up the Joker. Must admit, he does not look very cut up, but he does look crazy. He's in a straight jacket, repainted black and pink. His accessory, I guess it's some sort of buzzsaw thing. It looks like it's holding a piece of Star of the Conqueror on there back you can see him using the accessory Ooh, this thing's in kind of rough shape and here are a bunch of other figures now I actually peel this thing off you can see it ripped the packaging looks like it's actually back row coat up there which is odd because she was released with the wave and here's that emo the Riddler very skinny long hair giant question mark accessory little blade comes out Riddler holding his question mark, blade comes out, bunch of other figures. 
And then we have Clayface. I am a huge fan of Clayface, so I was very happy to get another version. And this is a brand new Clayface made up for the show. His real name was Ethan Bennett, not from the comics. He has this rubbery giant clay arm, little action feature, a little snap forward. They did release some Clayface variants, but as I understand it, they were re-released with Series 4. Backside, you can see Clayface using his arm and a bunch of other figures from the wave. And from this series, I have the Riddler both open and unopen. And I actually don't see any differences at all between the original The Batman Riddler and the Batman EXP Riddler. And of course, I had to get Clayface loose as well as unopen. Here's series two of the Batman EXP wave. We've got Camotech Batman, Negative Threat Batman, Flamestopper Batman, and Killer Croc. The Batman, EXP Extreme Power, Camotech Batman, Batman in a green cloak. He has the same zipline type accessory. Power key, he's Batman exposed to the cloak. Backside, once again, they're showing that gray Batman using the accessory. Not as bad as what they did on Batgirl's package. Bunch of other figures. Once again, we've got one covered up with a sticker. This is Negative Threat Batman. The color scheme is kind of interesting. Red, black, a little orange, light blue. His accessory, another crazy looking thing. I mean, I'm looking right at it. I can't really tell you what it is. Backside, you can see the power key on the accessory. The accessory in action. And a bunch of other figures. This is Flame Stopper Batman. Neon yellow outfit. He's got giant blades on his gauntlet. Looks like he has that capture accessory again. And of course on the back side, showing the gray Batman using that. Bunch of other figures. And then Killer Croc, a new rogue for the line. He's in his lizard form. The tail's not attached to the package. Once you attach it, he has sort of a snapping back and forth action feature. Back, you can see attached Killer Croc's tail. Press a little button up here, swing it back and forth. Bunch of other figures. Once again, once covered up with a sticker. Of these figures, I have Camotech Batman Loose. I can't for the life of me find him. I bought him specifically for the cloak, and I can't find that either. And I've also got this Killer Croc Loose. Here is Series 3 in the Batman EXP line. We've got Gravinal Attack Batman, Ultimate Defender Batman, Mega Claw Batman, Crimson Patrol Batman, and Temblor. Here's Grapnel Attack Batman. I always thought this guy looked pretty cool. He's got the arms that can stretch out. He's kind of looks like he's gliding. He has the same sort of zipline accessory and some goggles for his face. Here's Batman using that accessory. Just a kind of cool, unique scheme. Back, you can see the Batman, his arms come outward. We've seen that before. Grapnel, zipline, bunch of other figures. This is Ultimate Defender Batman. I like this. Batman in sort of a black, really dark gray suit. Giant crazy accessory. Some sort of missile launcher. Here's the accessory in action. And a bunch of other figures. Mega Claw Batman. Batman in a giant armored purple suit. Pretty ridiculous. Some kind of missile launcher. And they're showing us Crapnel Attack Batman on the back. Not sure why. Bunch of other figures. And here's Crimson Patrol Batman. Color scheme, unique. It's like a bright orange almost. Armor pieces. You can attach and he looks very much like Azrael from Nightfall. I find that extremely interesting. The back, he attaches the armor, the wings on the back. He's that sort of red or orange color. Very similar to Azrael. Bunch of other figures. Then we have Temblor. 
a villain made up for the Batman cartoon. I think that's great. I was very happy to get this guy. I love brand new rogues, never released before. A little bit too small scaled for the stuff I collect nowadays, but still really cool to have this guy. He's got sort of back, you can turn this knob, and his arms sort of shake. This guy was very similar to Shriek from Batman Beyond. He could destroy things with his sort of sonic gloves. Bunch of other figures. And of course, I had to get Templar loose. Brand new Bat Rogue in action figure form. Here's going to be Series 4 of the Batman. We've got Zap Snap Batman, Drill Dive Batman, Blaster Batman, Zero Matter Batman, Swift Shot Batman, Combat Crash Batman, Threat Force Batman, Enemy Control Batman, Blaster Batgirl, Deluxe Tux the Penguin, Ice Blast Mr. Freeze, Metalhead, and then all three variations of Clayface. I am missing some figures from this wave. I'm missing Card Attack the Joker, Extreme Impact Batman, and Gotham Guardian Batman. We'll take a look at these in three different groups. Here are the first five I'd like to look at. This is part of Series 4. These are all Batman variants, but not all of them. We'll start off with Zap Snap Batman. Yes, that is a figure. Zap Snap Batman. Color scheme's pretty unique. Red, maroon. Giant accessory. It looks like that capture claw thing. The back, you guessed it. We're seeing the gray and black Batman using that same accessory. And a bunch of other figures. Then we have Drill Dive Batman. Batman in an armored suit. Almost looks like a space suit. Looks like he's got some kind of a drill. The back, you can see another Batman using that accessory. And a bunch of other figures. Here is Blaster Batman. Color scheme very unique. Yellow, baby blue black, some sort of disc launcher. Here's the accessory in use. Bunch of other figures. This is Zero Matter Batman. Pretty interesting name. Green bat suit with some green stripes through it. Giant batarang shaped accessory disc launcher. Here's a different Batman using that accessory and a bunch of other figures. Then we have Swift Shot Batman, Baby Blue, some dark blue, giant Batarang type accessory, missile launcher. Here's the accessory, they didn't show a Batman with it anymore, and a bunch of other figures. And here's the second group of figures from Series 4. This is a standard black and gray Batman, Threat Force Batman. They release three or four of him in this line. Giant Batarang accessory, disc launcher. Backside, here's the accessory in action and a bunch of other figures. Enemy Control Batman. He has that capture clock accessory again. Purple and black outfit. Same gray and black Batman using that. And a bunch of other figures. This is Combat Crash Batman. Bright yellow suit. Looking pretty ridiculous. Looks like he sort of lunges forward to grab a villain. Back. Somebody attaches to his back. Guess he attaches a wall and slings forward. Bunch of the figures. This is Blaster Batgirl. Batgirl, more of a red outfit. Pretty sure the cowl is removable and there's Barbara Gordon under there. Sort of disc launcher. Back, you can see the accessory. Here's Barbara Gordon with the costume off. And with the costume on, and a bunch of other figures. There's that wild card Joker that I'm missing.
Deluxe Tux the Penguin. We had this penguin in the original The Batman line, slightly painted differently. I want to get one of these penguin figures loose. I think it's kind of cool looking. Umbrella, top hat, the penguin. You can sort of see his action feature is literally put the accessory in his hand. Bunch of other figures. And there are some slight differences between the two penguin figures. And I know for a fact that I have this blaster back row loose. She could take off the outfit and be Barbara Gordon. I got all the figures that were sort of quick change like that. But I just cannot find her. There's a bag of these old basic figures from this line that I simply just can't seem to locate. It's here somewhere. Here's the last part of Series 4. The Batman EXP Ice Blast Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, sort of armored suit. An ice accessory. In the back, once again, his action feature is literally just put the accessory into his hand. Bunch of other figures. Here is Metalhead. Another brand new villain, more or less created for the show. Always love getting brand new Bat Rogues in action figure form. This giant arm with a missile launcher. Lift piece of the arm, put the missile in, launch it. Bunch of other figures. Here is Clayface. He had a re release in Series 4. And there were two chase variants. Kind of interesting to be getting a chase variant in this line. The fact that I love Clayface, I thought it was so cool to get some different Clayface figures here. Back, see Clayface with his arm action feature. And that was the standard Clayface. Then you have this Clayface here. He's sort of in the middle of transforming. His face is sort of melting, semi human. Semi-monster, clay face, arm snapping down. I noticed a price tag for Value Cities up there, $9.99. Compare at $19.99. I call BS. These things were not $20 anywhere. They might have been $12.99 at the most. Kind of false advertising here. Backside, you can see his arm action feature. Bunch of other figures. And there's a second different chase variant, so three different varieties of Clayface. This one has the Ethan Bennett head, more or less the human form, at least the closest thing they made. Once again, same arm action feature and a bunch of other figures. And I have this metal head loose. Once again, a new Batman villain in action figure form. Had to grab it. And being the Clayface fan that I am, I had to get all three variations, both open and unopen. Just a reminder, the two on the right are both Chase variants. So they released a bunch of figures in the Batman EXP line, and these came with a bonus DVD. It had an episode of the show or something on it. These were different releases that weren't necessarily released in the standard waves. We've got Combat Clamp Batman, Bruce to Batman, Zip Action Batman, the fourth one is simply titled Batman, and then Mr. Freeze and the Joker. Packaging is pretty similar to before. We have that bonus DVD inside. Now the name of the figure is only on the back side. Combat Clamp Batman. Batman has red armored suit. Looks like a space suit. It's got the zip line. DVD. Here's the accessory in use. And some other figures. This one is Bruce to Batman. I notice they show him with the costume on. Previous Bruce to Batman releases in the Batman line had the armor separate, so you can see Bruce Wayne here. Because of the zip line, bonus DVD. The back, you can see the zip line in use. Then Bruce Wayne out of the armor, in the armor. No checklist. This is Zip Action Batman, your classic black and gray Batman from the show, zipline, DVD, zipline use, other figures. This guy is simply titled Batman. 
He's disc attacked Batman in previous releases. This one has a zip line, DVD, the zip line in use, some other figures. Here's Mr. Freeze. The standard release of him in the EXP wave is called Ice Blast Mr. Freeze. He has a different ice accessory. He has the ice on the helmet. We have the DVD there. Backside. You can see him using the accessory, some other figures. And here is the Joker. The standard release is called Hammer Strike Joker. Giant Hammer, DVD, action feature, other figures. I did want to point out the two Mr. Freeze figures. Mr. Freeze here with the DVD. He has the ice over his head. That's the standard release. And this Ice Blast Mr. Freeze, I'm sure they made both versions there, but this one doesn't have the ice on his head. That was the chase variant of that figure. This is the only two-pack that I have. This is Batman vs. the Joker. This is part of a line of Target exclusive two-packs. There were a total of three of them. There's also Batman vs. Bane and Batman vs. the Penguin. You can see DC, the Batman. Exclusive Batman, Batman vs. the Joker by Mattel. Got this Batman in a gray and red outfit, not released in single form. Backside, Batman taking on the Joker and advertising for the other two packs. Here are the three packs that I have. I believe they were also Target exclusives. We have Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, and Criminal Capture Batman. And then we have Clayface, Ventriloquist and Starface, and Zipline Batman. I believe this was the only way you could get Poison Ivy and the Ventriloquist through various multi-packs. And I'm pretty confident on both these multi-packs you could not get the Chase Mr. Freeze or the Chase Clayface. Well, let's take a look. Ages 4 Plus, The Batman, DC, got Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, and Batman, EXP line. Backside, you can see the three figures. Advertising for the other three pack. And this three pack Clayface, Ventriloquist, and Scarface. Batman. Backside, three figures. The other three pack. And I had to get the Ventriloquist and Scarface loose. You don't get a lot of figures of this guy. And here's a six pack that I have. I believe this was also a Target exclusive. This contains Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, The Riddler, Clayface, Ventriloquist and Starface, and Criminal Capture Batman. Nice theme package. Looks like they're in Arkham Asylum in six different cells. Reminds me of Kenner's The Adventures of Batman and Robin Rogues Gallery 8 pack. Now there was a chase variant of this pack where the Ventriloquist would come with Snoots instead of Scarface. I believe you can only get that through a chase variant of the six pack and there's no three pack variant. Let's take a look at it. Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, Riddler, Clayface, Ventriloquist, Scarface, and Batman. They're all in cells and notice Batman doesn't have bars on his. Pretty well done. Very cool pack. I believe it's the only way to get Poison Ivy or Ventriloquist either in the six pack or the three packs. Backside, you can see the different figures. They're getting measured, going to jail. Then we have Batman down there. And of course, I tracked down a ventriloquist in Scarface and a ventriloquist in Snoots. And here's the playset that I have from this line and open. This is the Power Key Bat Cave. It's a small bat cave that you sort of fold up. It looks like one of those keys from the EXP sort of power unlocking thing. You can see the Batman. Here's the cave in there folded up. Here it is, fully expanded. It gets a lot bigger than it looks here. Kind of like a little grab and go Bat Cave. Exclusive Batman figure, just a traditional black and gray version. Backside, you can see it's got a handle. You can sort of carry around and expand it. All the pieces should fit inside. 
And I did get this playset, both unopen and open. Had to get any of the Batcave playsets I could. This thing's pretty small, kind of crappy. Has a little Wayne Manor part at the top. Then the cave and a bunch of computers at the bottom. And even though I don't seem to have it unopen, I do have the Batman EXP Extreme Power Batmobile. Very similar to the one he used in this show in, I think, Season 3. Looks pretty cool. Happy to have it as part of my collection. So that was a look at my Mattel Batman EXP Extreme Power Collection. A lot of reuse from the original The Batman line, but a lot of new stuff as well. The Batmobile is very nice. I think the villains in this line are all pretty good as well, and they made a bunch of them. It's cool to add Batgirl and finally get a sidekick. That will conclude episode 21 of my unopened Batman Action Figure Collection. Stay tuned for episode 22. That's going to contain Mattel's The Batman Shadow Tech line. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure collection and action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate it when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.